Hey guys, it's Drone Life. How's everybody doing? Just a little video, just messing around. Yesterday I was at the uh, Hobby Town USA, and uh, in Atlanta, well, Buford really, close to Atlanta. Anyway, I was looking at some RC trucks. I'm wanting to buy me an RC truck, and I can't make up my mind. I saw this Bigfoot here, and uh, it was pretty nice. I think uh, price on this, if we can zoom in on it, uh, can't. Really tell, but it was two twenty nine for uh, this uh, Bigfoot. It's the original Bigfoot body style truck, and this thing would get up to like thirty miles an hour. Or so, and I really liked it, and all. And I've seen some other ones I liked here. And let's just scroll through the phone pictures here and take a look at a few of the others I took pictures of. Uh, this one right here was a uh, rock crawler. It was real slow. The guy told me, he said, you can walk faster and this thing will run. But uh, this thing was, it was awesome. And it, I mean, this picture don't show justice of it, how it looked. This thing was a badass thing. Uh, the body looked like it had a, like a 12-inch lift kit up under it. Uh, the uh, the back end and the, uh, the front end turned exactly the same. Um... Well, like if you uh, if you turn in the uh, like you turn your stern wheels and your wheels turn to the left, the back end wheels here would turn to the right, and that would give you uh, that enable the port to turn in tight spots and all. And I really liked it and all, but I'm looking for something for speed and all, because I had this uh, you know this grave digger, and it's really slow and. And if I want something slow, I'll play with it. And, uh, you know, so I'm wanting something fast. And, and this thing, I think, was listed at um, 649 just right around $600, $700. And also, I mean, I really like that. Another one here, this is when I almost bought it, too. Uh, this is a uh, self-build kit. Uh had 250 parts to it. It was 138 bucks for this thing. I mean, you put this thing completely together, totally together. You put the uh, you put the wheels on. You put the axles on. You put the uh, the drivetrains on it. You put the uh, the motor on it. I mean, you completely assembled this this vehicle here, and you just all the uh, the radio receiver and all in it, and transmitter and all that. I mean, just totally. You have to assemble it. So this was a uh, hundred and thirty bucks, and I think he said it ran uh, maybe twenty twenty five mile an hour. And it's close to thirty, so it probably you probably wouldn't really wouldn't could tell the difference it being that close. And uh, so I like this really. I like this one right here. This was a small one. This is a mini TR full size speed. This is the Animus, is what they call it. This was listed for ninety nine dollars, and this thing would fly too. Uh, he said this thing would get do about twenty five miles an hour. Or so, and I saw it. Uh, they had a display that they was running around in a store, and it was really moving along really good. And uh, so I like that. I almost bought that one, but I have a small one, the same size. As this one that's that Sandy Land one, but it. Probably don't go as fast as this one. So I'm still really kind of leaning towards this one as well. And then there were some bigger trucks uh, right here in the top corner. The, the Granite uh, 4x4, 30 miles an hour. I mean, I liked it. I liked the way it looked. I liked that green, which I don't like green vehicles. I don't like green color at all. And I, I wouldn't drive a green car. But uh, I like the way this one looked. And uh, a couple of the other ones there in the pictures and all. The Stampede 4x4. It was nice and all. And see if we can zoom in on it a little bit. Scroll it down. Yeah, I think it was like three, three hundred and something dollars for it. And it was all really nice. And there was a couple of other ones there that I liked. I didn't get a picture of. And uh, so I'm still... I haven't made up my mind which one I want to buy. And then on the way back out, I saw this on the counter. 
this was a, a nice little RC ride here. Got it back on the back of a trailer. And I also I got the gold uh, star rims and all. And this was on a Sunday. And then when I was leaving, coming down the road, it was 101 degrees there in Atlanta yesterday. So I snapped that picture coming down the road. And uh, so, I mean, I don't know. I think I like that car. I, but I want something to high off the ground. I want something that when I go to the beach and take the drones to the beach, and if it's too windy or whatever, even if it's sunny shine or whatever, I want to take a RC truck and play around in the sand and a little bit of parts of the ocean. Now, I did, and I was thinking today about that, too. And I did see at the, uh, the Hobby Town, they did have a car, a couple of these RC trucks that was uh, waterproof. And I don't mean like, you know, you go up on the water with it and scoop around like a SpongeBob there. But, uh, I mean, if you ran through some mud puddles or some, you know, light standing water, you know, it's not going to hurt it. And uh, so I'm kind of le leaning on towards those as well. Take it to the beach and skip around on the beach with. And also, uh, but this is just a couple of them that I just took a picture of them, and I saw plenty of them. And I should have took some pictures of some boats and all too, because I want some. I want an RC boat too. I don't want one of these Walmart brands that just puts around. And uh, I want something that's going to get out on the water and just, you know, tear it up and all. Yeah, I really kind of like that truck there. But too bad it was a it was a slow slow truck a rock crawler the bigfoot the bigfoot looked awesome and all uh, so uh you know there's those and uh oh uh one other thing I bought me a new camera phone so I'm really liking it so I want I got a picture of it because I want to show y'all a picture of my new camera phone I got. Oh, goodness, excuse me. Choking out there. So here's a picture of my new camera phone. How y'all like it? Yeah, it, it set me back a couple of bucks and all, but, you know, I think it's going to, I think it's going to do well with me. Yeah. All right. Well, this is Drone Life, guys. Thank y'all for watching. Hit that like button. If you ain't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And uh, come support my channel and my content and all. So uh, I got to get out of here. I got to dig into these Doritos here. Y'all have a great day. This is Drone Life. I am out of here.